Hi, I'm Hugh Bowman and welcome to the Happy Clapper Bar. Happy Clapper was one of Winx's most worthy opponents. Happy Clapper, he wins his group one today, but Happy Clapper, runner up for the last two years, it's his day today. Happy Clapper, give him a standing ovation, what a horse he's been. Oh, he was an iron horse himself, he ran second to Winx for, on five occasions. He was Winx's main opposition towards the end of her career. But here she comes, Winx. Happy Clapper tries, but Winx has drawn clear in the Doncaster. She wins it by two lengths to Happy Clapper. Happy Clapper's running the big race today, but Winx moves up now. Here we go again. Winx from right out the back. Powers away from Happy Clapper. Winx makes it a third Apollo Stakes, two lengths to Happy Clapper. Uh, Winx and Happy Clapper had some great rivalries, and especially here at Royal Randwick. So Happy Clapper establishing a sizable lead coming down the side of the course. He's been trying to beat the great mayor for the last three years. He's never led. What will happen from here? Blake Shin took off on Happy Clapper one day. As Happy Clapper goes further in front. Although I never felt as though he had our measure, he certainly stretched Winks to her top. Winks moves up on the outside of Happy Clapper. It's a race today, but no longer. She starts to draw clear. That was a great race. Winks by two lengths to Happy Clapper. The Happy Clapper bar is where I'd like to be if I was in the stand watching a horse race because it's where the action really gets involved. You've got a great view of Royal Randwick from up above the ground level and you can really see the action unfolding right in front of your eyes. So for me, it's the best place on track to watch the race.